from uh, Doklen, uh, Federal Republic of West Papua Office. Uh, we're calling for international supporter, especially Australian, uh, to uh, help West Papua because the future of West Papua is the future of Australia, future of uh, Indonesia, future of Pacific, also the future of the world. Thank you very much. God bless all of us. Uh, my name is Jacob Rumbiak. Uh, I'm a Minister of Foreign Affairs of the uh, Federal Republic of West Papua, but also I'm a one of five uh, official of uh, United Liberation Movement for West Papua. It's a, a West Papuan uh, National Consultation Body just uh, set up in Vanuatu last December. We're getting reports today in mid-January 2015 of uh, further violence by Indonesian police and security forces against West Papuan people. Stories are coming out of people having their homes burnt down. Um, could you explain some of the context and what's happening with that? Uh, yes, that's a, a situation, a worse situation just uh, created by Indonesian uh, intelligence and military uh, on the uh, last 5th of December 2014 at the uh, uh, region of uh, uh, Nabire uh, and it's a part of a we call Amipago tribe area and that's uh, at the time the young students from high school and also secondary school um, teenager they uh, set up uh, uh, you know uh, something to preparing for uh, Christmas, uh, December 2014, and at the time, uh, intelligence infiltrated inside, ignited, but uh, he didn't use a you know, lightning, and that's uh, uh, made uh, children, they stop him, and they warning him, they said, look, uh, this regulation of uh, uh, someone brought bicycle of car, in Indonesian regulation should use a light. And at the time he's uh, warning by them and then he's unhappy, he went back. He took his member from police and military and they came and they shoot all of them. So this uh, real uh, perpetrator is a military police and of course they are part of uh, uh, government's uh, you know, uh, uh, security. And we West Papua uh, uh, look at it's uh, uh, preparing to create problem so that uh, by that a problem can uh, use by Indonesian security to increase military before President arrived in uh, Jayapura, Manukwari, Sorong and Wamena on 27th of December. So, uh, I myself, I look that uh, uh, it's very sad because uh, before uh, election, president uh, were in uh, Indonesia uh, uh, from uh, SBA to Jokowi. Jokowi got majority voice in West Papua. And West Papuan people, they believe that when uh, Joko will uh, elected by them, and then Joko will stand and hear the voice to solve him and help them, mm -hmm. because the, the case of West Papua is a long, long, uh, uh, long time never solving. So uh, we look at uh, this uh, real uh, make Papuans they feel safe because. Uh, before they hope that Jokowi can help them, but in this reality, opposite. Um, all right. Now, I understand some of the recent violence that's happening. Um, it's being reported in media outlets like The Guardian today that uh, some of the violence is being targeted against people who have had uh, this flag, the Morning Star flag, up in their houses. Uh, could you explain? a bit what the flag represents to Papuans and what are the likely penalties from Indonesian security for displaying this in Papua? Yeah, uh, 
when we talk about flag, it's a uh, identity of West Papua because mm -hmm. this flag uh, created by Papuans themselves, mm -hmm. by their own parliament elected by democratic system in April 1961. Mm -hmm. So at the time, uh, uh, Papuans they elect the uh, parliament uh, called New mm -hmm. uh, or Parliament of Papua, and this parliament uh, preparing and create our uh, attribute prepare for independence. So uh, they create our flag called a morning star flag, our national anthem called Heitanaku Papua. Uh, in English, uh, it's been uh, Papua is my homeland. Uh, so this uh, symbol of uh, our future country. Uh, but at the time, uh, it doesn't work because um, uh, on December 1961, uh, West Papua occupied by Indonesia. And uh, until now, Indonesia is very scared when people that uh, keep this flag and they already knew that. Uh, West Papua, they want to uh, talk about the future or the country. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they say, oh, don't, don't uh, um, build country in the country. So that's, we also question why. Who's, who's build country in country? Because we only have our own Papuans, Papuan uh, uh, country, and then Indonesia occupy. They eat in, in our own country. So they ask us why West Papua uh, build country inside Indonesia. So that's the opposite because those in come inside West Papua is Indonesia. Mm. So that's not logic. Uh, so uh, I will say that the modern star flag is a symbol of a uh, state country of West Papua. Uh, but uh, later Jakarta said it's symbol of culture. When someone writes this flag, they can jail for 15 years. 15 years yeah. Uh, like when I was political prisoner, they said that sentence, mm -hmm. or put in jail for 20 years, mm -hmm. or been killed, or tortured, because on the flag. Why they doing it? Mm -hmm. uh, and then simple answer is uh, they scared about mm -hmm. a new nation. Uh, will born. But as a member of the UN, they should uh, concern and they should uh, uh, bow uh, international uh, principle. And in the preamble of Indonesian constitution, said independence is the right of all nations in the world. So when we were spoke for uh, uh, Malay or Indonesia, I think we are wrong. But because we are Melanesian, uh, content of preamble of constitution of Indonesia is guarantee our right for independence. Mm -hmm. So it's opposite with the, the own uh, constitution. Mm -hmm. We've seen countries like East Timor become independent in recent times from Indonesia. So why is the Indonesian government, why are they saying not for West Papua? Yeah, um, uh, Indonesia always said that uh, uh, the history is in difference. Uh, East Timor, they were under Portuguese, mm -hmm. so they have right for independence. But West Papua and Indonesia, we were under Dutch together. But I said wrong because uh, Indonesia were controlled by Dutch for 350 years. Mm -hmm. West Papua only 64 years. Uh, different is uh, uh, when Indonesia were under that's control. They, they uh, were a real slave and poverty, poverty people. But we West Papua at the time, 64 years uh, under uh, in the Dutch, we preparing for independence. And our situation is not a slave like Indonesia. Right of independence of East Timor and West Papua, we have the same right. Mm. When uh, we follow argued by Indonesia, the uh, Timor they, are, they were under Portuguese, so that's let them independent. I think uh, 
uh, it's wrong also because when they are uh, they were under Portuguese, why Indonesia occupied them? Why? Because the West Papua occupied and then occupied is Timor. That means the uh, morality of uh, annexation is a part of Indonesian culture. So uh, this this one I against it because they already have a moral of annexed. It's did by East Timor, so no 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 excuse that say oh, West Papua is part of Indonesia because Indonesia and West Papua we were the Dutch. Mm -hmm. When that's true, why they occupy East Timor? But after East Timor got support from international, and they said okay, let them go. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, I would like to uh, comment that uh, Indonesian uh, preamble in the Constitution 1945 mm -hmm. mentioned, mentioned that independence is the right of the nation mm -hmm. and the world. So we must publish Melanesian, we have right for independence and guaranteed by Indonesian Constitution. Mm -hmm. No comment, full stop. Mm -hmm. So we should tell uh, democratic uh, people of Indonesia that please push your can country, your government, and let West Papua independent right. We get it and we f build future together. Now, people might not be aware, but some of the recent violence is happening in Bati village, which is near the world's largest gold mine. So I'm just wondering if you could talk about whether there's a connection between the occupation and mining companies and whether ordinary Papuan people see much benefit from mining that happens in West Papua? Uh, I look at three things there mm. in the, the area. Mm. Uh, just uh, two uh, mobile brigade mm. uh, being killed by West Papua Liberation Movement. Mm. Uh, also uh, one security from for Freeport. Mm. Uh, it is part of uh, three uh, things. One is uh, that area uh, used by Indonesian uh, government and military to protect uh, foreign interest. That's America. Because 25 countries infest in Freeport. So I call that on the name of the Freeport, Indonesian security should protect foreign interest in the people land and the people, uh, you know, uh, resources. Those there. The second is a, a military or security of Indonesia also uh, uh, use military oppression to uh, stop owner of the land and resources to not uh, participate in uh, the local uh, ex exploited uh, gold there. Mm -hmm. And third is a part of political uh, uh, political uh, violence. Uh, so this is uh, very complicated, mm -hmm. uh, but I would like to tell that uh, uh, West Papua is still occupied by Indonesia mm. because economy. And that's uh, its effect mm. of economy is a great human rights uh, disaster there. Mm. And its, uh, its impact going to uh, the kids of Indonesia because police, military, they are kids of Indonesian people. Mm. They did because wrong policy come from central Jakarta. Mm. But also those dead in, in that area, also kids of our Papua mm. people. So two people, the victim of global interest there. And then they let them, oh, that's Papua and Indonesia fight there. But I look, that's international should involved there. Because who's involved in put Indonesia and Papua is an 84 country. So they should involve in solving this problem, not let Papua face with Jakarta, Jakarta face with Papua, no. International should involve in solving this problem. Uh, 
second of the situation is uh, now the use ISIS, you know, Islamic mm -hmm. country, to create this situation to put Indonesians uh, military and Indonesian security have the right to destroy all political movement in Papua. Mm -hmm. And I would like to tell you that now in Indonesia, oh, three, three or two weeks ago, American uh, intelligence based in Jakarta and Surabaya said that ISIS already target America office in Surabaya. Mm -hmm. So this very, very interest how intelligence use the issue to create a new strategy to uh, bring, uh, you know, to get strong support from America and American alliance to make Indonesia really strong to destroy the West Papua independent movement. Mm. And that's now, it's already there. Indonesian military and police are also trained by Australia and also fund by Australia. And this money comes from people tax. So I hope, uh, I do believe that uh, people, they don't like the money used for buy gun or bullet or trade military. Uh, so I hope uh, people from Australia also should tell uh, politicians in uh, state level and federal level that uh, West Papuans uh, need help. Mm. Now, you've just come back last month from a big conference in Vanuatu on the international campaign to free West Papua. Just wondering if you could talk a bit about what that was, which groups and people were involved, and what in terms of statements and actions have come out of that conference? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, uh, uh, West Papua Summit uh, just uh, finished last December, uh, started from 30 of uh, November uh, until 6 of December 2014. Uh, it's part of uh, how uh, West Papua failed to accept as a full member of MSC 2014 last year. Uh, because at the time, on uh, February 2013, uh, enrolled by uh, West, Papuan, uh, West Papua National Coalition for Liberation, and at the time, coalition said that they uh, uh, represented 28 uh, organizations in West Papua. But fulfilling mission of MSC uh, went to Papua on uh, uh, last January, and they find that it's not true. And uh, on June last year, uh, when MSC was in Papua New Guinea, and MSC leaders uh, from Solomon, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, uh, Fiji, and New Caledonia, or Kanaki, they asking us, they still give us opportunity, uh, one uh, opportunity to, we West Papua should, uh, coming together, uh, reconciled, and united. So inclusive and united. And then at the time, they will accept us as full member of MSC. Uh, why? Because we have right for become a uh, member, full member, because we are Melanesian. At the time, Indonesia also uh, uh, climbed and said, we wish Papua can go in there, because that's only for independent country. But all Melanesian leaders, if they said no, they create this MC to support uh, Melanesian, uh, other Melanesian people still struggle for independence. And any time they set up for bring Kanaki, and Kanaki uh, now uh, still take leadership. Kanaki is now a leader of MC until uh, this year. And Kanaki already, already list in uh, the colonization of the United Nations. Uh, so, uh, this uh, MSC body is uh, appropriate for West Papua to be part of it. And uh, last December 2014, we 
came with uh, we call a uh, declaration declaration of uh, Saralana. Uh, it's signed by three big group: Federal Republic of West Papua, signed by our Prime Minister Mr. Edison Maromi, and KNPB. KNPB is a, a media organization, but a political body they call uh, Papua National uh, People Council and it's uh, signed by uh, Mr. Bokhtar Tabuni and coalition, uh, National Coalition for Liberation is signed by uh, Mr. Alex Market. And by the uh, summit, uh, we elect uh, five officials uh, as uh, official of uh, United Liberation Movement for West Papua. Uh, we, uh, some of us is uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Octavian Smote, he's a uh, Secretary General of uh, United Liberation Movement for West Papua, and our spokesperson is uh, Mr. Benny Wilder, based in uh, UK. And, Three of us uh, members, so um, uh, Leonie Tangahma, uh, she based in Holland, and Rex is based in uh, Canberra, and I myself based in here. And this body is a, a consultation body, so that's not a national umbrella, but this consultation body, uh, we will work in international arena, in all level, we should consult with leadership inside. So this uh, uh, consultation body is the body of uh, a uniting, or unite uh, three big uh, uh, body uh, handle or conduct movement inside. Uh, KNPB, Federal Republic of West Papua, and uh, West Papua National Coalition for Liberation. And we have lots of uh, uh, civil, civil rights movement. Uh, they're from women, Melanesian women organization, student, youth, uh, tribe, council, uh, those working government, bureaucrat organization, amber organization, it's mean civil and of Indonesia also involved. Uh, they are affiliated to that three group very positive. So I hope uh, by a uh, uh, consultation body, uh, consult, consulted body, uh, United Liberation Movement for West Papua, will work closely with all leaders inside and then our decision making will be made by inside and then we only as a mouth, nose, eyes and hear of, of uh, a leadership inside to international arena. Yes, uh, I would like to ask you, the people, especially uh, journalists, because there's lots of journalists that put uh, lots of information, it's uh, uh, not, not clear. I hope uh, when uh, all uh, news want to put in out, should clear, should not make uh, supporter, international support or local or in, in Indonesia, they also confused. Mm -hmm. But we try to put something clear uh, and full uh, take responsible about uh, who's will doing what. Uh, I think it's very important. And then last one is, uh, uh, I hope by international supporter to uh, support West Papua because our aim is a clear. Uh, independent of West Papua is a, will help Indonesia. That's not against Indonesia. Independent of West Papua can bring a positive thing, positive action, and how uh, Indonesia, West Papua, and the regional Pacific in Asia will work as a, uh, the world family to look after the world peace and justice. Especially, we should take responsibility to create the world a better place for whoever them 
Und ich stehe in Indonesia und in Papua, ich stehe bis ich garantiere ihnen und lasse ihnen Frieden. Und das ist unser Ende.